What is going on, YouTube family? Welcome to this brand new playlist. Excited to drop it on YouTube here for you guys. This is pretty much a sum of everything I've learned in my plus two years of trading. This exact playlist is going to be the smart money mindset playlist. So I'm pretty much going to take you guys, you know, pretty much through most of the strategies and everything I use as a confirmation checklist when it comes to trading in the currency market today. And for that, you know, pretty much any market. So this video, this series is really going to be on private. You're going to have only access to this if I shoot you over the link. And, you know, just knowing that and I'm normally not going to send this to you unless you're an active student already inside of the market. So guys, this playlist is going to be for after you go through week one and week two of your Forex syllabus. All right. Because this is where you're going to learn the basics in the foundation. All right. Then when we go to weeks three and four, you get to learn and master the smart money concepts. And that's exactly what I'm going to go through in this playlist an easy, simple breakdown for you guys. So getting right into it because I want you guys to be able to take this short video, pause, take notes, pause, take notes, text me, ask me a question. So I'm really able to get through these, get the series done, and then you guys can get your questions answered. So number one, the first thing that I learned when it came to trading, okay, it was by our own Mike Miles and it is quarters theory, all right? This puts a method of psychology behind whole levels and behind price levels in the market. Now, I'm not going to review pips, but hopefully everybody hopping on this video, if you look over to the prices on the right, you see 3200 then what? We go down to 3150 This is just like saying this is the price of the Great British Pound of the U.S. dollar, okay? This is just like saying we know that the fourth decimal is a pip. Okay, so I'm not worried about the fifth decimal. So we're saying 1.3200. If we're saying, you know, I had $3,200 cash and I gave you $50, I would literally now have $3,150, you know, $3, right? So that's literally minus $50 or when we're talking currency markets, minus 50 pips. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead. Quarters theory are whole levels and everything behind these charts, all right? You're going to understand price. And it actually works works as a natural support and resistance area. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mark on my chart the quarter levels, the whole levels. All right, you're going to follow along, be able to pause, mark them up with me. And then I'm going to go into depth with them as we go. All right, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab because we're going to mark off an entire price horizontal line. Now I'm going to come to my first whole level price. We're going to talk about that 3200 level, right? So this is a whole level in price. So let's talk, if I were to go down 100 pips, okay, 3,200 minus 30, minus 100 is 3,100, all right? I just missed it there. I'm going to backspace, put a one, max it out. Now this is a 100 pip difference, all right? So I need you guys to see, again, quarters theory, we're talking whole levels. So look, 100 pip difference to the upside, 100 pip difference to the downside, perfect. Now we're going to break this in half. What's in the middle of 100? 50. What's in the middle of a dollar? 50, right? Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and even this out. All right. Now I want you guys to see what's going on in the markets over here, right? Look at this. Natural resistance breaks above. Natural support. Natural resistance. Crazy, right? On this price level. So now I broke down pretty much 3,100 to 3,200. The cool thing is, is inside of here, we can do those quarters theory. Think about it. A quarter, 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar, right? We'll do it again. 3,100, right? Add what? 25, 3,125, right? 3,150, 3,175, 3,200. So this is quarters theory, all right? Prices is, is like magnetized to these whole levels right? Because there's psychology levels behind the market. So when we talk support and resistance, I want you guys to now look at it as whole levels and quarter levels. I'm going to go ahead and mark the rest of these down for y'all so you can see what we're working with. So 3075, 3050. All right. I need you guys to understand that these are 25 pip levels, right? You can count 25 pips between each level and you can literally, you know, map out your risk management based on these levels. Now, I'm gonna end here soon. Here's another whole level, and actually 1,000 pip level. We got 3,000, right? right? Right under that, we're gonna have 75. You guys can do this for every single chart, not just GBP USD. okay? 
and then we're going to do 30, 29, 50, right? So I'm literally just going down by 50 pips every single time. I need everybody to see as I expand this out and they give me more levels. This works just like regular support and resistance, right? So look at here, area of resistance. As I bring it out, you know, and expand it, look, resistance, broke above, support, broke below, resistance, broke above, support, broke below, resistance, fell off, perfect. That's at a price of 3050, okay? Look, comes up to 3075, resistance, 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 breaks through, look what it taps off of a whole price of 3,100, right? Falls right back down 100 pips to 3050. I'm sorry, 50 pips to 3050. Moves around 25 pips up, 25 pips down. Moves down to our whole level before it takes a rocket ship up. Comes back. All right, look at it. Look at it bounce off these 25 pip levels. All right, big price of 3,000. That's why there's a lot of movement inside of it. So this is quarters theory, guys. This is literally understanding psychology behind the whole levels. Price is magnetized to come retest major levels, okay? A level of 1.3,000 is a lot more major, even though it may not look like it in this case, but for this price action, a lot more major than 3025, a lot more major than 3050. But 3050 is more major than 3025, okay? Because it's a bigger half level. You have quarter level, you have half level, and you have whole level. All right, so I hope this made sense to you guys. I don't want to make these videos too long. So this is quarters theory. I literally use this in my everyday markups. Now, if you're not going to be able, you know, if you don't know smart money yet, this is going to be hard to follow along with, but check this out. I see a schematic right here. We see our pool of money equal lows. Okay, we're going to bring whole levels into this. Where are we at? 3025, right? This is where price was finding a resistance on a pool of money. What did smart money decide to do? They wanted to bring one candle down. Look, pretty much 28 pips, which broke through a whole level of what? 3,000, perfect. So smart money took the pool of money, right? There's that candle we looked for. This is advanced going into everything you guys will be learning. And what did we get? We got our signature retest on that wick off of a 3,000 whole level retesting 3025 and you my friends are making 150 pips in seven hours so i really need you guys to understand quarters theory that's an extra confirmation right here for me to be able to take this trade setup where most people are dazed and confused and losing money because they're breakout traders in the next video i'm going to be breaking down okay what i did my first year and a half retail trading which i actually you know learn quarters theory inside of retail trading how you think as a retail trader, this it takes us behind it and why we are dropping these smart money courses all around for everybody now. So I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for the rest of the series and let's get it. Welcome to Smart Money Mindset.